the decade that we have the most affinity with is certainly the 80s. I'm all about the style of the new new romantics. See Adamant, yeah. that's that's it for me. If I yeah. could if I could look like that in daily life, I absolutely would. I, I'm really just waiting for the moment where we sell enough records that I can walk around like Adamant and get away Again. with it. <laughs> I don't think any of us have have ever shied away from embracing different different fashion trends. I mean there's there are some really, really dodgy pictures of us on the internet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, bad. But rather live it up than live it down. Yeah. There's a lot of like um, good vibes. With it. It's like people like Dead or Alive or Boy George or stuff like that, where it's like there's just all the colours. You know, it's like it's <laughs> yeah. like oh, what are you gonna wear today? Or like, all the colours. I'm just gonna wear all the colours. Like what, what? What about you? Yeah, I'll probably go with all the colours <laughs> as well. Eighties. Three words. Yeah, okay, let's take one each to Niche. describe the 80s. Alright. Um, overt. Bombastic. Shoulder pads. Is that one word? No. No, that's two words. We'll just take shoulder. <laughs> no, it could be like a, 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 a hyphen it. Overt. Bombastic shoulder. <laughs> I think the big thing about originality is, is sticking to your guns a little bit. I mean, it's, it's all about believing in something and not only just believing in it, actually seeing it through. I think, and that's the difficult part, because of course, you know, it's very easy to, to uh, think you're, you're doing something original, but actually proving yourself is the, is the, difficult, is the difficult part.